Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find even numbers in the list using the filter function so guys in this program we are going to include some elements inside this list and which are the even numbers inside this list that we are going to check using the filter function over here so as you can see this is the filter function which takes two parameters the very first parameter is the function in this case we have provided the anonymous function that allows us to check whether the given number is a even number or the odd number and the second parameter is the list itself from where one at a time the element will be passed to this anonymous function so guys let us check this with the help of the vs code over here so basically the very first thing that we will be having is our list so we will name it as list 1 and let's say we have the top 10 numbers over here inside this list so we will just set all the numbers from 1 up to 10 over here so as you can see we have initialized the list 1 now guys we can simply use the filter function in order to find which are the even numbers from this list so basically over here we will be using the filter function as you can see this filter function will take two parameters the very first parameter will be a function that will help us in order to find whether a number is a even number so let's say we provide this function name that is even over here comma we have to provide the second parameter that is list 1 So guys over here we will provide list 1. Now guys as you can see we are getting some error over here. It says even is not defined. So we have to define this even function. So what we will do is let's say we provide the def keyword followed by this even function. It will take one parameter that is x over here. So how this filter function works behind the scenes? Basically whatever element is present inside this list 1, one, one element at a time from this list 1 will be passed to this even function over here and that will be captured using this x variable and then guys inside this we can simply provide our condition that is if x percent 2 is it equal to 0 which means that when we divide this particular number that is x by 2 whether the remainder is 0 or not and guys the speciality of an even number is that whenever we divide the even number by 2 the remainder is always 0 and in this case if this condition gets satisfied then the number that is x is an even number so what we will do is after this colon we will simply provide return true in this case and then guys when this function that is even it returns a true then that particular element that was passed to this even function will be returned by this filter function over here and then we can save it inside another list so guys over here after this what we have to do is we have to provide return false as well if this condition is not satisfied that is x percent 2 is equal to equal to 0 if this is not satisfied then we will return false over here now guys the first letter of the true it should be capital letter and for the false as well we should have the capital f over here so guys this is the functionality of the filter function that is it helps us in order to filter out certain elements now guys what we have to do is we have to store it inside some another list so over here basically we can store it inside the result over here in this case like whatever elements are coming from this even function for which the return value is true those will be stored in the result function and then guys we can simply provide the print function over here so we say print and then we can say even numbers are and then colon and then we can simply provide this result but this needs to be converted into the list data type so over here we will use the list function and then we will provide the result variable so guys over here what we have done is the result that we have got from the filter we have just converted it into the list and in the form of the list we are printing it using the print function over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting even numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 and those are the actual even numbers from this entire list so guys this is the way that we have easily used the filter function in order to find the even numbers inside the list now guys can we reduce these number of lines of code that we have written yes instead of calling this even function what we can do is we can provide the anonymous function over here with the same functionality so how do we define the anonymous function we'll just remove this function name and then we will provide lambda and then this anonymous function will take one parameter that is x similar to how we had given the parameter to this even function and then followed by colon and then we can simply provide the condition that is x percent 2 the same condition we need to provide 
is it equal to zero and if this condition is true then that particular element will be included in the result or else if it is not true then it will not be included in the result and then guys we can simply remove this definition of the even function over here so as you can see we have just reduced the number of lines of code by using the anonymous function inside the filter function over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we are getting the same output that is even numbers are and then we are getting two four six 6, 8 and then 10. Okay, similarly we can also remove this list 1 variable that we have used and provide the range function over here. So instead of having this list 1, we can provide range function and let's say the numbers that we want to include are 1 up to 20. So the second parameter inside the range function should be plus 1, so it should be 21. So guys, basically the first parameter will be included that is the number 1 but the second parameter will not be included that is 21. So a number that is less than 21 which is 20 will be included so basically we are providing the list of the numbers that is 1 to 20 and from that list the even numbers will be displayed over here so we can simply remove this list one variable as well and then we can simply have these two lines of statement over here in order to find the even numbers inside the list which includes 1 to 20 numbers so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again as you can see we are getting the even numbers that are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and then we also have 12, 14, 16, 18 and then 20. So guys this is the way just by using one simple line of code over here we were successfully able to find out which are the even numbers inside the list. Now guys what happens if we directly provide this result to the print statement instead of converting it into this list. So let us check that as well. So over here what I'll do is I'll just remove this list function and I'll simply provide the result variable over here. Let me just save this file now and try running this code. As you can see it says even numbers are and then we are getting this filter object at. So basically we are getting the address of this result object over here that was passed by the filter function. So it is not working over here. We have to necessarily convert this result variable into a list variable in order to successfully print the results. So we simply have to provide the list function over here and enclose this result variable. So let me just save this file now and try running this code once again. So now we are getting the exact even numbers that are present inside the list. Guys, what do you think about this number that is 21? Whether it is an even number or the odd number, comment in the comment section below. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. Please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Python program to find numbers divisible by another number. So stay tuned.